Pat, first of all, congratulations on being the Calhoun's High School Athlete of the Week. Thank you very much. Let's uh, let's talk about Friday night. Uh, you guys go into a, a game with with Alcoa, a team that had beat you two years in a row. You guys aren't used to that, are you? No, sir, we're not. Uh, we kind of pride ourselves on being able to win and win consistently. Uh, so we definitely came with a chip on our shoulder last week and knew we had to get a win against Alcoa. And you came out and uh, did you think you established yourself pretty early? We did. Uh, I felt like our offensive line really imposed their will and uh, Sean ran the ball really well the first drive so I felt like we could do things that uh, we needed to do to win. Now you guys like to throw the football around and you only threw it 14 times. Was that the game plan going in or is that just how it happened? Well I think that's just kind of how it happened. Uh, we're going to do what they give us and I know Coach Coles is the run first guy. I know we do pass a lot around here but Coach Coles definitely likes to run first so we kind of knew that coming in and just going to throw when we needed to. Now I know from my, myself just you know, being kind of a casual follower of the Maribel program, that you were a good passer. I didn't realize that you ran the football as much. You had a, a big run in the game on Friday, on Saturday night, actually. And uh, do you run it quite a bit? I do run it quite a bit. Uh, a lot of our option offense is option offense and a lot of quarterback counters and misdirection stuff. So I end up carrying the ball quite a bit. Not as much as Sean, but uh, I do carry it quite a bit. So. What's it like to have a guy like Prevo in the backfield behind you? Uh, it's it's a blessing. You know, Sean's a great athlete. He's really young. He's going to mature and get better, which is kind of scary. But uh, I really like having him back there because, you know, it gives us another option. Now, he also catches the ball pretty well. You had a touchdown pass to him. Yeah, he did. He caught the great ball, went up and got it. It was kind of a little high floater, so he made a great <laughs> catch. As you look at your season, uh, obviously Alcoa is a big game, but uh, there's a lot of big ones ahead. Any chance of a letdown against West this week? You know, uh, there's always a chance that you're not going to come out and play as well as you can, but you know we're going to prepare this week and come out fire on Friday, hopefully. Now, as you look ahead, uh, you got college obviously coming up. Uh, you made an early commitment to North Carolina. Some things have happened over there. Is is that a distraction at all to you right now? You know, it could be, but. Uh, I've been following my parents' advice and Coach Quirrell's advice. Is I'm just going to let that situation play out and focus on the Rebels right now, which is what I've been doing and what I'm going to continue to do until after the season. All right, Patton, congratulations on a big win over Alcoa. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much.